Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at the Jumper T20 Gemini. Yeah, I kind of highlight these antennas because that's really the main difference. The, the T20 we've seen before, uh, Jumper did say they made some other main board changes, but for the most part, um, they everything's about the same. Same gimbals, same everything. I've got a review video already posted, I'll link that down below. But the first thing I like to do when I get a new radio is go fly. So I put together a little stick cam. I haven't actually done this in a while, uh, and I thought it would be fun. I, I prefer to, like all things, I prefer to do it in real life. Uh, simming is fine, but I, I just don't find that it has that draw for me. You know, I guess when the weather's bad, I just fly whoops inside the house. When the weather's good, I just try to go outside. And of course, because, you know, I don't do this for a living or anything, I'm not around the house all live long day trying to look for something to do. Uh, but I have the Fly Lens 85, one of my favorite 2S, 2-inch, I guess you'd call them sin whoopers, but I just don't fly it. It's got prop protection, and it's 2-inch and 2S. Fly is really fun. Uh, so the main thing about Gemini that you might be wondering is we're probably going to see this on a lot of radios. Uh, Jumper's the first to do it, but essentially you've got two transmitters inside the radio and two antennas. You have options within the software of different modes that they operate at, but it sends the packets at different rates and they sends it on different channels. I think on the 2.4 gigahertz band, it sends it at uh, 40 um, hertz or megahertz uh, difference. And then on the uh, 900 megahertz side, then it sends it uh, 10 megahertz, not mega, is it megahertz? Yeah, megahertz uh, difference on the packets. And there's various modes within the Lua script that you can go into in the radio, and then you can control whether you're using one antenna or both antennas and how you're using them. It's the next iteration of Express LRS just getting better and better and better. Uh, do you need it is another question. Well, I don't know. I don't need it. I have never had any Express LRS control link issues or experienced any sort of latency issues or speed issues in my time using it. But if you're out there flying great range or you're flying in really difficult scenarios or you're flying commercially, I guess, is another scenario where you might be looking for this. Of course, Gemini doesn't do you any good on the radio if you don't have a Gemini receiver matched with it. So you'll find that it's a little bit like diversity, but there's a fair bit of difference between there. Uh, I have a couple of receivers around here that are Gemini. I have not used them or put them in anything. Matter of fact, uh, the quad that we're flying right here in this video is actually uh, integrated right onto the main board. So it's definitely not a Gemini based uh, receiver. So obviously you can use a Gemini based radio with a standard Express LRS receiver. So that should, that should give you comfort, and I suspect that we're going to see, as I said, Gemini in most things that aren't in the budget line. I could see the budget line being one of those spaces where they might not integrate two uh, transmitters inside, and that's the main cost for the manufacturers, but for the most part, when it comes to their hero line or their more expensive line, I fully expect to see Gemini in all the radios going forward. And that's really it. I know, not much of a review. I, I, I did plug it into the sim to make sure that sort of stuff works, just like on the standard T20. Uh, but the main feature here is uh, the Gemini inside, which is kind of an indicator. This antenna that they've designed here is actually pretty nice. Folds down nice and clean, uh, almost like Lego bits there. Gives you good flexibility. Uh, this part up top doesn't move around. That's, that's static. Uh, they do have various accessories. It seems like they've put on their website now, uh, stick ends. I think you can get different turn dials. Uh, I've got a package of them over here, but you can get them in different colors. Uh, a lot of people, especially with these sorts of stick ends have hard times when they're thumbers and they're pressing down on them. So now they have some different options that, uh, you can buy that might suit you better if you help hold your sticks differently than I do. Obviously, you got to see how I, how I hold mine. Isn't it funny how I kind of hold my radio kind of slanted? I have yet to be able to train myself out of that. I've actually tried to actually hold it nice and flat. It, it just doesn't happen for me for whatever reason. I'm uh, right-handed, so maybe I just lean right because I'm right-handed. Um, but the Jumper T20 Genesis or excuse me, the Jumper T20 Gemini should be available for purchase. Should come in around 199. Of course, that's going to vary depending upon where you buy it. You could see prices up of that. But as I said in the video, I fully expect that in the 
upper price point of all the manufacturer radios, we're probably going to see something just like this. Jumper is the first to market and Jumper is actually going to probably push the rest of the market to do it as well because all the manufacturers are trying to keep up, right? But I think there'll be radios like the Jumper t Light, which is a wildly popular radio that will probably continue to be standard Express LRS unless they can figure out a way to get the extra transmitter in there and still keep that price point down because you know, that, that radio is what, uh, $65 and really popular and people are, are putting really expensive gimbals in it and stuff. I don't know that they would want to put more money into that and then we would want to pay that additional money for Gemini. Unless, you know, you're a huge fan of that particular radio and you're flying commercially and you know, hey, I got to have the exact best link that I possibly can so that I don't cause any problems and I get more and more work. Maybe. But if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise about the Jumper T20 Gemini, I always want to say Genesis, as I did once, please let me know in the comments section below. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.